Welcome to the Idaho Transportation Permits System, also known as iTRIPS, user tutorial videos. This video will guide you through the steps for creating an account to order permits using www.permitsforidaho.com. This and other tutorial videos can be found on the login page via the iTRIPS user tutorial videos link. To create a new account, click the Create New Customer Profile or Account link on the login page. The Setup Company Profile screen will be displayed. The screen will ask if you have a valid USDOT number. Choose the option that best describes your situation and follow the on-screen prompts. Choosing I have a USDOT number will allow users to create an account without permit office intervention. All other options will require users to contact the ITD permit office at 800-662-7133 to create a new account. For this tutorial, I have a USDOT number will be selected from the drop-down list. iTRIPS will display a field asking you to enter a valid USDOT number. Once the USDOT number has been entered, click the Validate Numbers button to check against USDOT data. If the numbers do not validate, double-check the numbers for accuracy. If the system notifies you that the account already exists, call the ITD Permit Office for further instructions. If the numbers validate, a confirmation message will be displayed. Verify the company name and address listed is correct. Click OK to close the confirmation message. Click the Create Account button to proceed. On the next page, iTRIPS will automatically populate the information associated to the USDOT number entered. Any field with an asterisk will need to be completed before clicking Submit. Make sure to select the primary delivery method from the drop-down list to specify the way you would like issued permits delivered. The options available are fax, web, or email. This can be changed on a permit-by-permit -permit basis as needed. Please note that you can also print any active permit directly from the dashboard. Enter your first and last name, a username, and a password. Please make note of the password requirements, which can be viewed by clicking the Password Requirements link. The password must not have been used recently, must be at least 8 characters in length, cannot contain your user ID, or more than 2 consecutive characters of your name, must have lowercase and uppercase letters, must have at least one number, and must have at least one special character. Also enter your password prompt and response. This can be any question and answer to retrieve a forgotten username or reset a forgotten password. Once all required fields are complete, note the selected username and password and click Submit to continue. A message will be displayed stating the account has been created. Click the OK button to return to the login screen. Please log in to complete your company profile on the login screen, enter the username and password. Select the Remember Me on this computer checkbox for iTRIPS to remember your username. Click the Submit button to log in to your company dashboard. Once on the company dashboard, click the Menu button to display the menu. Options. Click the Company Data link to finish setting up your account. On the Company Management Portal screen, certain company information can be edited such as the phone number and email address. Be sure to set up additional users, update phone numbers and email addresses, and add vehicles when logging in for the first time. This information can also be updated as needed at any time you are logged in to iTRIPS. New users can be added or existing users can be edited in the Users section. All added users can order permits in iTRIPS. The original user who set up the account will already be listed in the Users drop-down list. Click the Edit button to edit the user and add an email address, phone number, prompt question, and response. All users should enter an email address, prompt question, and response in order to retrieve a forgotten username or reset a forgotten password. This saves time allowing users to bypass calling the permit office for a password reset. When editing an existing user or adding a new user, select the user type. The two levels are Administrator or User. The Administrator level can edit company information and other users. 
A user level can only update their own name, email address, phone number, and password. The user who created the account will be defaulted to an administrator user. All company accounts must have at least one administrator user. Unless the user will have a very specific known start and end date for accessing iTrips, leave these fields blank. Otherwise, set the start and end date for the account to be active for specific dates. Click the Update button to save the information. Once users have been edited or added, enter the company vehicles into iTrips for easier permit ordering. In iTrips, there are three ways to add vehicles. Vehicles can be added during the permit order process, or if adding several vehicles at the same time, users can upload a vehicle spreadsheet using the vehicle import in the admin links accessed in the menu options on the company dashboard. There is a separate video titled Importing Vehicles, which can be found on the iTrips User Tutorial Videos link located on the login page. Vehicles can also be added individually in company data. To add a vehicle in company data, click the New button. The vehicle information screen will be displayed. Enter the unit number, make, year, VIN, plate, and the state in which the vehicle is registered. Selecting a terminal is optional. Once the information has been entered, click the Insert button to save. Clicking the Insert button will add the vehicle to the Vehicle drop-down list where you can edit this or existing vehicles or click the New button to add another vehicle. Terminals are optional and can be set up at this time. Terminals are different physical locations for the same USDOT number and account. Click the New button to add a new terminal. Enter the terminal information in the required fields and click the Insert button to save. Click the Edit button to edit entered terminals. Contacts, users, and vehicles can be assigned to a terminal. Once all company data has been entered and updated, click the Home button to return to the company dashboard and begin ordering permits. Welcome to iTrips! This concludes the iTrips user tutorial video on how to create a new company account. Thanks for watching and don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.